Tonight we say goodbye to 2021, but unfortunately we're not saying goodbye to COVID-19. The number of new cases continues to rise, reaching record levels since the detection of the Omicron variant. Experts are concerned about people who haven't been vaccinated, but there are also mounting concerns with kids staying in school full time and how hospitals will hold up in the surge of cases. If our hospital systems go down because so many are out with COVID and hospitals are seeing this all over the country, then there's going to be no one there to care for you. Well, I see you beds across the country are more than 77% full and more than 22% of those are COVID-19 patients. So Sharon, it's still not over. and It's not going to be over anytime soon. Yeah, we are. Uh, we have to stay vigilant. We have to um, continue to fight with everything we got. We really do. And I don't know why you'd have to remind anybody that because at this stage of the game, game, life game. I don't know if anyone, we all know someone affected by this. We've all been affected in some way, but I mean, we know people who have passed away, uh, gone too soon. Um, so it really is something that people have to really take ownership of one by one. Yeah. Take ownership of it and also protect each other in all of this, because you know what, we have to look out for our neighbors, our children, our family members, especially our elders, who, you know, may not have the boosted immune systems yeah. that some of us do have. So while a lot of people are like, oh, I'm not going to get sick. I'm not worried. You know, I'm strong. I work out and all that stuff. Well, what about the other people who don't? What about those who have compromised immune systems? We have to think about those people because it's not just about us. I know Dale Walters uh, talked about this yesterday, and he had a wonderful quote from his mother that I know you love. So let's go ahead and hear what Dale Walters had That's to say it. yesterday. Mm -hmm about those summer months when shots were literally being thrown away in this country that were badly needed elsewhere. Remember the bodies being burned in India? So many bodies that they actually mm. ran out of wood. The refrigerator trucks brought in because the morgues were filled. The anti-vax radio host, now dead. Proud of your African heritage? Why not try and save it? Remember a shot not used here is a shot that didn't go into an arm elsewhere. You have a choice. In Africa and other third world countries, they are still waiting for the miracle that arrived here almost one year ago. In my case, as I sing the words to Old Lang Syne, I'll think about my mom and my dad who passed away long ago, especially my mom, who used to always remind me, it ain't always about you when it comes to getting the shot or wearing a mask. Mama was right. Mama was right. And see, that's why I love Dell. <laughs> I love him because the, he gives us that, that he zeroes in and gives us such perspective. And, and that's why I wanted that, you know, repurpose so that the folks who perhaps didn't get to see it live yesterday could hear those words of wisdom because his mother, may she rest um, in peace, she was right. Okay, we remember Colin Powell, who did the right thing, by the way, got a shot, might have had his booster too, but because he was suffering with a, with a disease, his immune system did not respond to the vaccine the way yours has, the way mine has, and we're fortunate. So we do have to remember that we live in a society together. We're not alone here. And hopefully this can be the, the start as we head into another year of this and we freshen up and make vision boards and everything else we're gonna do, we get some, some perspective and maybe do life maybe a little bit different. Yeah.